Good afternoon, everybody. Um, we are trying a new show out today. It is fifth D and D fifth edition Arena Battle. The concept we have here is that we each made a character. We are going to have them fight, and then we'll talk a little bit about our character concept. Hi, my name is Jared. I'm Jonathan. Uh, for my character, I decided to make a barbarian. And I made a paladin. Our general guidelines behind making these characters, we use the 27 point by standard build from the uh, player's handbook. And we basically, um, in a standard arena battle, you're not allowed to use magic items, so we just went with the standard items you would be allowed to have. Which means no tricks, no nothing else, just skill against skill alone. So let's get to the combat. What we did was we laid out a grid, just a simple eight by eight, where we each start in opposite corners, and we're gonna start with the battle, so let's roll for initiative. Yep. Uh, so before we roll for initiative, I wanna say what we look like to each other, because oh, okay. we come in with this idea saying we are arena fighters. We made an arena fighter knowing that is what our specialty is. But I don't know who I'm gonna fight. He doesn't know who he's gonna fight. So we come into this and look at the other corner, and what do you look like? Large, burly, variant human, chainmail, and a glaive. And I am also a um, variant human. Uh, I am wearing splint mail. I've got a shield and a longsword. Actually, sorry. It's breastplate, not chainmail. That just ruins everything. I know, now. I know. All right. <laughs> so that's it. Why don't we go ahead and roll initiative? All right. Ten. I have got an eight, because dexterity is not a thing that I went with. All right. <laughs> so you get to go first, which is definitely going to hurt me. All right. Start with these attacks. So. Attack number one. That is not going to be high enough, even if you were naked. Ha! He missed! And a 19 Ow. on the dice. That hits. 26. So, raging is plus two. He has an 18 strength, so that's a plus 4, so the glaive is a d10 plus 6. Roll the 3, so 9 points of damage. He hit me for 9. I am sad. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, the second attack. Oh wait, no, I'm that sorry. That was your second attack. That was attack. the second attack, that's right. The you... first one was a pathetic miss. Mm. I'm so used to hitting on the first one. Well, whose <laughs> fault is that? Roll better. The dice's fault. Yeah, blame the dice. So... Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something fun. I am going to go ahead and say, um, I'm going to use my channel divinity and say, make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, I'm going to cry and run away, aren't I? Maybe. 18? Or you're going to make it because you rolled really well. I am so, not afraid of you today. So, um, you are not afraid. Um, so that means that you do not need to worry about it, because I used that channel divinity and it didn't work. Uh, as a bonus action, I'm going to go ahead and, um, cast a spell on myself. Okay. But you're a barbarian, so you have no idea what I cast. You just wave your hands. I wave my hands with my shield in the air and say some words. Okay. And some things light up. I'm done, because the channel divinity was used instead of attacking. Okay. All right. Um, because I really wanted to use a barbarian feature here for my attack, uh, for the first attack, I'm actually going to use the shove action. Okay. So, because he's a barbarian and he's raging, I get advantage on it, and it's a opposed roll. My athletics. strength athletics versus yours, either athletics or yep. acrobatics. So. Ooh, horrendous. Well, who knows what happened there, so... I got a 12. Uh, you got a 12. I have a 13. 13? Yeah. I have athletics trained, and I have an 18 strength. So 6 plus 7 is 13. Because I took the polearm master feat, I'm going to use the bonus action... Yes. ...to do a little back end. And because you're prone, it's advantage on the attack. Yep. And you're going to hit. Yep. So and you do a... Oh, you did not bring the no. die. So here. I get a d4 plus the 6. So you do 8 more eight damage. More. I am having a bad time so far. And now I will move. One, two, three, four. I'll just 
to move back five. You do get an attack of opportunity. All right. Your reaction at disadvantage because you're prone. Yeah, I'll take it. It's not like it hurts. We'll say, ha ha, you run away from me. AC is 16. I'm going to hit. You're going to hit. Right, no, I'm not. No, I'm not going to hit. Why no. am I going to hit? No. Oh, I'm disadvantage. 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 Um, so with disadvantage, I am going to miss because I only got a 14. Okay. Okay, so my turn, first thing I'm going to do is stand up, yep. which takes up half my movement. Yep. Uh, second thing I'm going to do with the rest of my movement is move five feet so that I can't be shoved like that. Say, well, that well was you could still be shoved. The, the shove yes, action knocks but, prone. Oh, the shove action knocks prone no matter what? Yeah. Or, okay. No, uh, there is an alternate that I could push you instead of knocking prone. Okay. But it, specifically using it to do the knock prone. All right. Well, I'm still going to go ahead and use my action. Since you decided to walk away from me, I'm going to go ahead and buff myself now. Okay. So I'm going to use my action to cast another spell. Okay. And then I'm going to kind of look at you and... Um, okay. So my turn... You moved back in. Yep. And we will do the shove again. Mm hmm. Uh, 25. 25? 18. Oh, I can't see that. Natural 20. I beat you. The shove does not work. Alright, I will try it a second time. Natural, Natural 20. 20. I don't think I can beat you at that. Cause okay. What is your. You have a plus, uh, plus nine, 7, right? Oh, oh, right, you just get advantage. So if I roll another natural 20, I did not. Okay, and now that you're back prone again, get an attack with advantage. 19 on the die. Yeah, that's going to work. But it's with the bonus action, so I'm so going to yeah, again. Keep borrowing it. Just, you don't need to worry For about. seven more. Seven more. I am definitely in some pain. And I moved four, and because the Barbarian has the fast movement... You moved five, didn't you? Because you started here. One, two, three. No, you moved four. So that's 20. And I get two, three, four. Back again. You get your attack of opportunity again with disadvantage. And that's going to hit. Okay, damage. So, you notice that I do a little bit of extra damage as you take um, 14 points from me. 14, uh, K, because I am Path of the Totem Warrior. Of course you bear, are. Bear, reduce now, to 7. Now, some of that is holy damage, but you get to reduce all that because... It only d does not reduce damage for Psychic, I believe, right? I don't remember. I think it's Psychic. I think Force? Psychic and Force? Something like that? So all right, so with my turn, uh, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and get up, and then I will move closer to you to make it so that it's going to be harder for you to back and yes. backing away. Um, let's see. Oh, um, actually, uh, with your last hit, you also, with the last hit you did against me, you mm -hmm. also uh, took back the damage you did. So take seven back. What do you mean by six? Seven? Oh, uh, but you get to have it, so you take three points of cold damage back. Oh, uh, okay. Because I had a spell go Someone off. Someone put on the armor. <laughs> Maybe, and in fact, I still have some temporary hit points. Okay. So, I am not done yet. Um, so I, at this point, am going to, I've moved to the position that I'm going to move to. And then I think I need to take a look at what kind of spells I want to use. And I think what I'm going to do, since I can't get close enough to you right now, is I am going to use some points of my um, uh, lay on hands. You're going to touch yourself? So I'm going to go ahead and lay on hands and heal myself. Okay. And I'm done. All right. To get back into range, I'm gonna try to push you down on the ground once again. Uh, 22. Nope. Nope. Damn. Uh, try it for the second time. Two 18s, it's a 25. And you be roll higher than me. Okay, now I'm rolling very, very well. On the second one. Now you're rolling <laughs> well overall. 
And the attack is a 23. Okay. So, once again, you hit me, but uh, you're going to go ahead and... Uh, for... You take, so I take 10 damage, but 10 damage. you notice that I definitely don't take all of that. And you take back 5 points of damage. Again, after. I'm, after, I'm already cutting after in half. After the reduction. After Got the reduction. Alright, I'm down 15 total. Okay, so where are you going now? Uh, I don't want to move 10. Well, you could pretty much get anywhere from there. Yeah, I can. Well, you know what, I'll stay where I'm at. All right, so my turn. Stand up is a uh, stand up for half my movement, and then I'm going to say, ah, you're not moving now. So I'm going to go ahead and try to hit you. Okay. So first attack is going to be a miss. Natural ones are a thing. Second attack is definitely going to hit. And I think for this one, I'm going to go ahead and use a, uh, a, a smite. Okay. So that's going to make this damage into 22 points. Before the halving. Before the halving, yes. So you're going to take 11. All right, I'm down 26. Um, and for right now, I think that's going to be it. I'm not, I don't really have any bonus actions that I want to use right now. Okay, uh, I will do the shove. That is not good. Well, it's, but it's better than that. Because I rolled really poorly once again. All right, so now uh, the, the shove attack, build is definitely an interesting idea. In, in a one-on-one, -on -one, especially because the barbarian gets advantage on the Yeah, and without the advantage, it really wouldn't be a good idea. Yes. So the first attack with the glaive. You are still making good uh, good attack rolls in general, though. Glaive is. Oh, so you got a crit. A crit. So that that's gonna hurt. Two d ten plus. Still just a plus six. six. Yep. Fourteen damage. So you notice that I take that damage, and you don't take anything back. Oh, the armor's worn off. And now for the bonus action, with the back end of the full arm. And uh, again, a twenty. You are rolling very well. That hit. Three, six, nine more. And, Done. And yep, yeah, I'm not going to move. All right, so on um, my turn, I am going. Oh, and I need to for the last couple. I actually need to roll to see if I keep my spell because uh, I have not been doing that. So I successfully keep my spell. I successfully keep my spell. I successfully keep my spell, and I successfully keep my spell. Okay. So I made all of those checks. Yeah. All right. So, hmm, I think obviously you stand up first. Uh, yeah, the first thing I'm going to do is stand yeah. up, and I think after that I am going to uh, recast a spell. Okay. And that's all I'm going to do. Alright. I'll do the shovey shove once again. Ew, 14. <laughs> not even close. I do not shove. Alright, we'll do the second shove. Uh, 20? No, one? I got you on this one too. You beat a 21 also. Alright, yeah. and then for the third, I'm just going to do a straight attack. Since I can't do the shove with nope, the bonus. Nope, can't. Bonus action shove. And that's not going to hit anybody who's wearing armor. Yep. Uh, your turn. So, I'm going to go ahead and swing back at you. I'm going to miss with that attack. I'm going to miss with the second attack because I rolled a three and then rolled a two. I am rolling fantastic here. Isn't it? Isn't it great? All right. So, um, do I want to do anything else? I don't think so. I don't really have anything specific to do. All right. Well, let's try that shove. Uh, 24. You got it. All right. So, the first attack with the glaive at advantage is... That's only an 18. Which is going to miss. And the second attack with the nope. bonus... Yeah, and the bonus uh, action. I'm sorry. And the bonus action. The bonus is a 24. And that's going to hit. The back end of my glaive is getting a lot more action than the front end. Yeah. Nine more. And you notice that the nine damage doesn't go through as you take four points back okay. once again. Okay. You running low on spells yet? <laughs> um... Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Here go. I still got plenty of firsts. Right. I'm assuming you, you stand up. I stand up yeah. and I swing and I miss. Okay. 
Okay. My two and three from last round have been improved by making it a four. And then I roll an eight, which is still not going to hit. He's got an AC of 16. He's rolling all double digits. I'm rolling all single digits. This is not going to work out well for me. So, uh, yeah, I am not going to do anything else. My bonus action spells are not things I want to use at the moment. All right. Uh, we will go back to the shove. Uh, that's a 26. It would be in, like, and how long can does your rage last for again? Ten rounds. Okay, you got it, because, again, I did not roll super high. Okay, first attack with the glaive. Nowhere near a hit. Well, you add those two numbers together, and you still win. Smite you once again. Uh, dealing 20 points minus a uh, cut in half, so you take 10. I attack again, and I hit you again, and I'm going to smite and again. And this may end up dropping me. And you take 13, 14, 15, 18, 24, so you take 12. And that drops me. Whew! Because guess what? That was my last spell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and by the way, if you're wondering how am I surviving, how many hit points do I have left, I have 12. And that's after healing myself for 20 and giving myself 15 temporary hit points. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a very long spell, long combat comparatively. The shove worked really well, but the paladin has high defense. Yep. So what decided? Uh, what made you decide to use the shove build? What made you decide to use the build you did? Well, one of the things that I try to do is weaponize the bonus action. Because otherwise, you're just wasting it. So... I took the feat, the polearm master, because it gives you the attack with the bonus action. Then I also wanted to do something that kind of incorporated what the barbarian's about, you know, using the barbarian's special abilities beyond just the advantage and damage mitigation you get from the rage. So I wanted to do something that allowed me to get some kind of a benefit with the advantage that you would get on your strength saves and strength skill checks. So, again, go through the rules, you see what you're able to do, and the shove action, when you take an attack, you can shove, and it then becomes an opposed roll, which is right where the Barbarian wants to be, because he's getting advantage against an opponent that would, unless he was playing a Barbarian and also raging, would not get that same advantage. And then, if the shove was successful, that then forces him to be prone, and then I get advantage on the attack as well, which when you're dealing with an armored opponent, you really want to try to have advantage if you can when you're attacking. Yeah, I'm going to say that I think that in the end there I ended up getting a little lucky because his advantage versus my non-advantage, we have the same role because we both have a plus 7 to the athletics check. It was all based on whether my 1d20 beat his 2d20s, right. which... Happened, what, three out of eight times I ended up winning the, that roll? Yeah. Which is still a higher chance than it should have been. And because we have the exact same number. Actually, it was probably more than three, because I missed the first one almost half the time. And occasionally... No, that's what I was counting. Oh, okay. Because you su still succeeded at knocking me prone all but one time. By the second time, yeah. Uh, so I think it was four out of ten that I made. But either way, you yeah. can count if you really feel like it. Um... So obviously his having a lower AC makes a bit of a difference, uh, and also me, again, I used all of my abilities, I healed myself for a bunch. He did make the save that I was kind of planning on him missing, uh, which was going to make him feared from me for a minute, so that I could get all of my spells up and then walk up to him and corner him, which was the plan, but that didn't work, because, you know, one roll, one roll, it is what it is. Uh, overall, this was a very close fight, yep. considering we, again... Um, I just, uh, so let's go ahead and talk about our builds. Uh, so you, you went with the, uh, the totem. Yeah, yeah. So that you can have the totem damages. with the bear uh, in order to, again, because I didn't know exactly what I was going up against, I wanted to make sure I could maximize my damage and mitigation. You go up against a paladin that's hitting you with radiant damage or deciding to use the smite spells, which then have different elemental damage. Yep, yeah, and I had them, but I did not use them. Yeah. I just used... Three first level smites. Yeah. <laughs> um, and smite gives you 2d8 radiant damage. I also had up the whole time uh, divine favor. What divine favor does is it adds a d4 holy damage to all of my attacks. 
Uh, and again, I made my, my saves. That's part of my build because I went with Resilient Constitution, which made it so that I had, if I, I would make my save on any damage, uh, my, make my save to keep my yeah. spell going, as long as I rolled at least a four. Yeah. Because I have a plus six constitution save, and you were never going to hit me for more than 20. All right. Even the critical attack could have, but you didn't the, roll that well. The crit could have, but one of the dice rolled a one. And yes, so it. that didn't make yeah. that big of a difference. Um, I also used uh, 20 points of my, um, 25 of my healing from, um, Lay on hands, and I do feel you did also make a mistake in combat. You had a pole arm. Why didn't you just stay ten feet away from me? Because I completely forgot about the reach. <laughs> you could stay ten feet away from me, and then every time I had to walk into you to attack, to attack you, I'd have to you take get the free attack of opportunity on me. Because that's what pole yeah. arm master does. Pole arm master is really, really powerful. Yeah. You should, you should have won this fight that easily. Was a you completely forgot. That was a mistake. I wasn't going to remind you in the middle of combat no. because it's a choice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the rest of my build, in case anyone's curious, because it doesn't matter, you should have won this fight, is uh, I went with the Oath of Conquest build. Because the Oath of Conquest build, first of all, gets me Armor of Agathus. What this does is makes it so I get 10 temporary hit points, or 5 temporary hit points per caster level, and... I deal five points of cold damage back to him, or damage equal to the amount yeah. of, uh, of, of that I have available to me. I cast it as a second level spell, which is the reason why it went through more than one hit. Mm -hmm. And then I cast it as a first level spell because I was out of second level spells. Uh, because my sec other second level spell was casting the Divine Favor. Because Divine Favor is a second level spell. Now the Oath of Conquest, what it does, the main other effect of it is the I tried to fear you. My, for Oath of Conquest, if you use your channel Divinity, it's a wisdom save to frighten an opponent for one full minute. So it, once he raged, I was going to frighten him, have him run away, wait the minute out, he gets rid of his rage, I can do basically do whatever I feel. Actually, you would have only had to wait around, because I'm not, if I'm frightened, I have to move away from you, correct? Yes. And if I don't take damage or attack you... In a round, my rage ends. So therefore, yeah. I had a very yeah. good answer to it, but he rolled a natural 18, yeah. and <laughs> like the save was, uh, what, it's charisma-based, so the save that he needed to make was only actually a 13 anyway. Yeah. But he's got, what, you've got an eight, a 10 wisdom? 10 wisdom. And no bonuses to it, so no I was basically whatsoever. counting on him rolling a 12 or less on a d20, yeah. which is a pretty high chance, yeah. so I was going with that for my concept. Um, other than that, the rest of my spells didn't really matter because, again, I was kind of building this on other concepts. I had Thundering Smite, but I didn't use it. I had Shield of Faith to make it so I would have a 21 AC, because 21 AC is pretty solid, but I decided the extra damage would be more helpful. Overall, I think this was a really entertaining fight, but forgetting one of the main abilities of your build did make it so I had a yeah, chance I to win so as opposed to no on chance at all. a bonus action. Being able to use the attack, I completely forgot about the reach benefit. And the, also, a couple of times on your first roll on the shove, you rolled like 5-6 or 5-4. Yeah. And I'm probably going to beat that. Yeah. I rolled three natural ones, but yeah. it didn't make a difference. So overall, I think it was a good fight. Yeah. If you guys think it was a good fight, let us know if you liked it. Let us know what you didn't like. We're also perfectly willing to do this again with monsters, with other types of character classes, with higher level characters. We have plenty of ideas, and this can keep going in many, many different ways. So, let us know. Thank you for watching. And enjoy.